Okay, I'm going to talk about graphing the sequence and what's hopefully what they're asking for. I'll show you how to do it on a TI-84 Plus also, um, once you have the nth term in sequence. But anyway, let's talk about the sequence itself first for a few seconds. Obviously, I'm sure you figured out the how the sequence works. Uh, you go up two here. You go up two more. Or three, I'm sorry. Each one goes up one more than the last. So it's this one's plus five, this one's plus six. So it'd be plus seven, plus eight, plus nine. On and on and on and on and on. Now, when you have the sequence set up, the thing that we're going to use to graph is the number of term in sequence. So the first term in sequence, the second term in sequence, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to put those right down here. So the one is the first term in sequence, so I'm just going to make a one here. The three is a second term in sequence, 6 is the third term in sequence, 10 is the fourth, 15 is the fifth, and 21 is the sixth. Basically this is your input or what's considered your n value, number of sequence, and these are your outputs. So anytime we have to set up graph like scenarios where we have an x and y coordinate, you put your inputs in as the first term or the x value is what we usually call it, and then the y's would be your outputs. So we're going to make coordinates, 1 and 1, two and three, three and six, four and ten, five and fifteen, six and twenty-one. So we can make uh, a graph now of dots anyway. It doesn't actually work where you uh, we're gonna go all the way up because it's these are um, not a line. It actually makes just dots there. So we're gonna make sure we'll make a dot for each one. So I'm gonna go to one and one down here you don't even need this part. You don't need negative x or y because none of these happen to go negative because it's a it, it, it increases over time. I can't talk today, I'm sorry. Uh, and the x is you can't have a zero term in sequence or a negative one term in sequence. It's kind of sequence doesn't work that way. So you go to one and one and make a dot. Then two and three. Then three and six. Right in here. And then uh, four and ten. Right there. 5 and 15 in this general vicinity and then you'll have 6 and 21 which is way up here so like somewhere in this neighborhood so you can see it's not equal it doesn't work that way but that's how you draw sequences just based on the points also you can do it in the calculator if you have the nth term in sequence the nth term in sequence would be the uh, little equation you would use to plug in to get any value. So say I needed the 50th value. If I can make a statement about the first few terms, generally I can come up with a generic statement. And that, of course, is the nth term in sequence. In this case, if you work it a little bit, you'll find out that the nth term in sequence is n plus 1 times n divided by 2. So for instance, in the first number, we plug in 1, so it would be 1 plus 1 times uh, which is 2, obviously, and then you 1 over 2, so half of 2 is 1. In the second situation, you in the second term, you do 2 plus 1 and you get 3, so 2 plus 1 and gives you 3, and then you're going to do um, n divided by 2, which is 2 divided by 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1, so you do 3 times 1 and you get the 3 that you're looking for. In the next one, you do 3 plus 1, and then 3 on top of 2, and if you do 3 plus 1, you get 4. 4 times 1 and a half or 3 halves is 6. So this is the nth term in sequence right here. Now, if you have the nth term, you can graph it in a calculator on your TI-84 if you have one. I just picked whatever I thought was the most generic. You want to go into mode. It helps if you turn it on. So you want to turn it on. Uh, you want to go into mode and then go down to this line. If you want to graph sequences, and by the way, if you want to graph lines again, you need to go back over here. But if you want to graph sequences, you just go and hit enter on that button, and then you can click out. Go to y equals, and you'll get this little setup here. Uh, usually you keep your x min at 1, because the first term in sequence is probably when the sequence starts. If it starts somewhere else, you can change it. Um, the use of n here, that would be your, if you have multiple sequences, you have to adjust for it, but in this case there's only the one. So I'm just going to do um, this button plus one, and then that divided by two, or you can use the fraction set if you like, so it knows that it's supposed to be whatever it is. It would help if I'd hit the correct button, wouldn't it? 
uh, n plus 1 times n divided by 2 and then you just graph it and it makes a nice little graph for you up in the corner so that you can see it. But that's how you graph sequences um, from small amounts of information on paper to larger ones if you have the nth term rule. So I hope I'm helpful. If not, just let me know and I'll try again. So good luck.